Are you always on the hunt for a good sun hat like I am? In this video, I'm going to show four hats by Sunday Afternoons that I bought from Amazon, and I'm going to talk about what makes them great hats for managing melasma. Please keep watching. Hi, welcome back to Invest in Your Face. If you are new here, my name is Amy. I'm a registered nurse. I have melasma and I post videos dedicated to topics related to melasma and ways to manage this common stubborn skin condition that has no cure, but there are ways to manage it. If you have melasma and are looking for ways to manage it, please subscribe to this channel. Now, I posted a hat video a while back where I talked about five things to look for in a good sun hat. Today, I am going to show my new hats and talk about what I like about its features that cover those five things to uh, help manage melasma. Now, sun exposure, as you all know, is the number one trigger for melasma. So in addition to sunscreen, additional sun protective measures such as a hat can help to keep your melasma under control and help to maximize the potential benefits of your current melasma treatment and skincare routine. This first hat has the widest brim of the four, and obviously a thing to look for is a large brim for more protection. Now, one of the things I have found is that many wide brim hats tend to be floppy, and this type of hat can be really inconvenient to wear because it literally just kind of flops right in front of your face. And I have returned many hats because of this. It is not a problem with this hat because there is wire in the edge of the brim to nicely hold the shape of this five inch brim. Now, this hat is called the Florence hat. It is made of 100% polyester. And one of the things to consider when purchasing a hat is the fabric. Now, hats obviously do not need to be made uh, of polyester to provide sun protection, but polyester deflects UVA and UVB rays more effectively than other fabrics such as a rayon or cotton. Now, this hat does have a UPF 50 plus sun rating, which is the highest sun protective uh, rating achievable. All four hats in today's video are UPF 50 plus. Um, this one also, and all four of the hats, uh, can pack flat, uh, so it's easy for travel. And I'm currently traveling, and I'm in here in beautiful uh, Dove Mountain, Arizona. No problems packing all four of my hats for this trip. Now, this one does not have a chin strap, so, you know, it just may take flight on a windy day, or if you're out doing something like riding a boat, may not be your first choice, but to wear when there is not much chance of wind, I love this hat. And for reference, my head measures approximately 22 inches, and I measured this hat to be right at 23 inches. I think, personally, this is a solid, beautiful option. This next one is Sunday Afternoon's Lanai Hat. I think this one is my favorite of the four. I love the casual look of it, and I especially like this faux leather trim detail. Now, this comes in a few color options. This one here is obviously black and gray, but there's also one that I like called Emerald Sea and uh, another one called Periwinkle. Now, this brim measures just a hair over four inches, still a good size brim to provide a fair amount of shade on the face, and you have have to take into account the location of your melasma. Some have melasma patches just on the forehead, and in that case, the size of the brim may not be as important. My melasma is on the sides of my face and the upper lip area, so I definitely like big brim hats. But if I'm doing something uh, that works better for me to wear a smaller brim, like a baseball cap, uh, then I will wear, in addition to it, uh, a UPF gaiter or mask for the additional coverage that I need through here. Now, I'll link my video in the description box below about UPF face masks that I posted not too long ago. Now, this one does have a chin strap, uh, which I like. It too measures 23 inches, and it also has these ties, so the sizing is adjustable. This one also has that wire edging in the brim, which I really like. Um, I especially like this wiring because it is I don't know if that's coming up on the camera. It is shapeable. This fabric is 70% polyester, 30% cotton. Um, and the other thing to consider about fabric is the weave. A tight weave obviously seals out the sun's rays, which is why I am yet to find a straw hat with a tight enough weave that I like. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any straw hat recommendations. 
This third hat is the Sun Seeker cap. And this brim is a lot like that of a visor. And when it is this large, it provides a good amount of coverage. Now this brim is four and a half inches and I love the features of this hat. It has this complementing fabric here on the edge of the cap and the brim. It has this fun, bright pattern under brim. Uh, it is made with this moisture wicking headband and there is an elastic band to accommodate um, sizing. There is a area for a ponytail and it's made with these ties that are made with the complementing fabric on the underside and they can be adjusted so they're not only um, you know a nice touch but they are also functional. Overall this is a high quality cap visor and trust me I have returned a fair number sold on Amazon because the quality uh, was not as it was pictured or described. Now this fabric is 50% nylon, 50% polyester, a nice breathable uh, fabric on the cap to help you stay cool. And the thing about this type of visor or cap brim that I really like is that there is no concern about the fabric weave when it comes to sun protection for your face because this visor portion is made with two pieces of the fabric and then some sort of you know stiffener such as a, a thin plastic or a stiff thin foam in between so you know no light is coming through this now one of the things to look for that I have not yet mentioned is color now I tend to stick to dark or bright colors because dark colors will absorb UV rays keeping them away from the skin and bright colors not only absorb UV rays but also deflect uh, more so than a pale or a neutral tone now this hat does come in a few colors that I recommend they include a uh, jade coral and purple when it comes to heat, wearing white or a light color will repel heat and keep you cooler. Now keep in mind, heat can also be a trigger for melasma, but when it comes to sun protection, dark or bright, as I mentioned, is better to absorb the rays. Now does that mean I never wear a white hat? Absolutely not. I like having white as an option because sometimes no other color goes with my outfit or I'm just in the mood. So here is my new white option. Now this is kind of a hybrid between a hat and a visor. The brim or the visor here is constructed as I described with the Sunseeker and as I mentioned because of the way the visor part is constructed the fabric let alone the color is not going to matter as much. So let's talk about this hat. This is called the Sun Dancer. This brim is also four and a half inches and I want to bring this one back and lay them on top of each other so that you can see the added protection of this design here and here. So it makes it more like a hat. Now I want to go into the back here and show you this pleated veil like feature. Um, at first I gotta be honest I wasn't too sure about it but after trying on I actually think it's kind of cute. Um, it definitely provides great added protection to the back of the neck and, and any rays that might be coming from behind to potentially hit that lower face. Now this backside has an elastic and an adjustable uh, strap here again to accommodate most sizes. It has an opening for a ponytail. Uh, inside here it has that moisture wicking headband and a chin strap. Now again solid quality construction. Uh, the other color options available are called amethyst, cardinal, and there is a cream color that with a sand underside. And again, talking about color, this bright teal underside here, this color really amps up uh, the protection of this white fabric, which is 100% nylon. I am definitely now a fan of Sunday afternoons hats. I will provide links in the description box below for all four hats. And I hope this video has provided some useful information about what to look for in a sun hat to better manage your melasma. And I hope there is a new hat in your future. Keep in mind though, a sun hat is never a substitute for sunscreen. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who may benefit. It helps to grow my channel and get my videos out to more people who have melasma. A thank you to my current subscribers as always for your continued support and wishing everyone good health. And thank you for taking the time to invest in your face. Bye.